Hello, welcome back to Brenda Sushi Life Modding. In this episode, I want to show you how I created this uh, thing that kind of looks like modern uh, public toilet. So, the pipe rater, the pipe itself is actually generated using this pipe rater add-on, but the rest of them is actually generated procedurally, kind of using boolean and spread job nodes. All right, so yeah, let's get started. So basically, I started with something like a queue, and let's turn on switch spread of nodes. So think about the base mesh and how you think you can cut it using boolean. So box is a good started. You might also want to check a rounded box. So file save as. So this is a modern toilet or bathroom. So box and PMesh. So this guy doesn't have much of options except for the subdivisions and the size. But you can always use transform mesh and starting to play with the size, etc. For example, like the scale. So you can easily scale in any directions. So that's actually really, really handy. And you, you also have things like simple deformer. In this case, I want to make something like a pyramid. So that's a upside down pyramid or just like a normal pyramid. So this guy can, can be bevel. So bevel is actually, bevel is really useful in a lot of cases um, use width so not too much just a little bit let me turn on cavity shadow maybe or just cavity simple of motion we can also just plug in another transform mesh here move it up and down as needed super handy go to the side view okay so it's a it's a very visual process and kind of procedural we think of every step and how we can make changes over time uh, keep in mind hopefully this is not we're gonna use the mesh in and out of the nodes sometimes that that will crash blender but hopefully not um, for the next one i wish there's a capsule node here we don't have capsule node but we have actually rounded uh, rounded box that's actually can be used create another b mesh viewer but change the name i, I usually use the just alphabet so alpha beta So rounded box looks like sphere by default, but you can change the radius and change this vector size, I think. And you get something like a capsule. So that's the division. So let's try actually using this for our toilet. So this guy, the way I work, I usually just, for this kind of thing, use a circle. So symmetry is also very powerful. If you want to boolean something and just get a shape really, really quickly. So this generates multiple objects. We don't want that, just merge it. Single object, so that's good. So we want to cut alpha boolean with beta turn off data okay so we have something so in order to make this easier I'm gonna do this turn off this guy okay. and plug in the matrix 
right so apparently it's too big maybe too many cut so our shapes is a little bit wrong so look, look at your cutter there so that's the radius we want it to be rounded but not too big maybe we need to scale it or something so this um, let's just transform mesh and just scale it well ok in this case maybe we cannot actually scale it yeah don't use scale just try use different methods you don't actually need to use this rounded box seems to be a little bit funny to use but okay this yeah this might as well as well works so this is actually the shapes that I started with when generating this kind of like a toilet. Um, yeah. It's good that it kind of works. So that's the starting point. We can still tweak our original design. There. this okay we cannot go too far boolean will fail sometimes you are you can be pretty lucky maybe maybe this Yeah, I think something like that. So Boolean itself is a kind of dirty workflow, but can be very useful. So don't just uh, not to use uh, Boolean. Okay, so that's kind of working okay cool let's hide this continue um, adding a bit of detailing maybe the top part needs some kind of inset just to use like something like a box another b mesh by default b mesh will always be alpha so i just just name it So with this box, we can use the scaling. Something like that. And then we use a circle, another circle for the placement. So symmetry and circle, very useful and also array. If you actually know an add-on called box cutter, so this is actually a very powerful uh, way to work with boolean. It's very feasible. It's almost like procedural. Okay, so we get this thing, that I think instead of just using circle, we get this kind of this this kind of array use matrix normal and do it this way so you have that kind of nice rounded look so you can bevel right away make make the box smaller and then maybe bring this up etc 
scale it again. Or actually move it. Move it up. Okay. Uh, we should actually probably move and scale. A bit like that. Boolean. Make a cut. Turn off. So what, what I like with procedural workflow is of course ability to change at any time. So scale, we can scale again. But when it's starting to glitching out, that's when the boolean fails, so be careful on that. Okay, so it yeah, seems to work pretty good. I mean the door wasn't very clear in this case. Maybe we can go back. Yeah, the rounded box actually didn't give uh, much control. Maybe we should make another cut using box. But that's kind of like a like an opening for a door, right? So we can just make another box and this can be like the door into this. But you get the idea and normally if you I, I'm happy with this, I just create a duplicate and then apply everything here in the modifier. So convert to mesh. So it's a, that will apply all the modifier and with this guy you can continue working go to edit mode face select inset do things like that okay this inset seems to be broken unfortunately so you might need to actually use boolean occasionally you get this <clears throat> So, yeah, maybe continue just using boolean and because this is kind of like a concept design, right? Uh, you can add details like uh, using the pit rater add-on if you like. So pit rater by use. So hopefully pit rater works on this guy because sometimes if the mesh is okay. Uh, luckily it works but I think it could be glitching if you don't have proper face but that seems to work pretty well so you can call it like a kind of like a could be cyberpunk or steampunk kind of look because it's kind of modern look with a lot of pies but I call it this is like a a little bit like a toilet right if I'm using box cutter I don't know it might work so box cutter is already on and I I believe I can make a cut here so apparently oh because of the it's overriding all our creation here, so maybe it's not. It's not good. Well, at least you, you already know the process. Maybe I can undo it. Maybe it's gonna crash. Okay. But this guy, if I kill this, and then. Box cutter it anyway. See, with box cutter you can quickly do that and then add a, a bit of bevel it's very powerful workflow eventually you're gonna end up with a toilet kind of design maybe i can put another box i still can't remember the shortcut 
maybe add a bit of detail there maybe even make it another cut here for the door but it's become like a tunnel yeah because it's uh there's an angle maybe i can tweak it a bit more but you get the idea so the whole process is out is actually taking advantage of uh, blender boolean is really really powerful what you see is actually what you get so if you are happy with this don't don't actually starting to subdivide it you can per perhaps like remesh it okay but don't just subdivide it you can add bevel things like that but normally it's a kind of like a complete work once you boolean it if the object never move it's gonna look perfect like that and it's gonna render quite nicely as well with weighted uh, smoothing maybe can get a, a bit more better look I suppose this kind of thing could work when you okay this thing I have a feeling like for example for the door right you, you don't just create a boolean but you actually You add a box there and then just create a door. Where's our S Y S Z? So scale it and put a, another box there for the door, and then you create the actual door like that. And then you start to add the design. It's a very interesting workflow. I don't think I will work much like this, but uh, it's a bit of like CAD working, but you work a lot with um, beveling more because it's uh, the whole thing is polygon. It's not it's not nerves or curve. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to get a beveling on the edge, but uh, it's a it's polygon. So. And the process is actually very often more interesting than the final one. Actually, both as equally interesting. So this guy definitely needs the bevel. It's not a nice looking design without bevel. Well, starting to get more like okay, like a proper modeling lesson I mean this this guy and this guy should merge and then and we have the opening and going to, to the inside but anyway you, you get the idea this is almost like a toilet right so yeah let's just save it oops did I s it's okay I override the blend But anyway, the, yeah, that's the whole process, how we can kind of make a concept design very, very quickly using stretch of nodes, taking advantage of Blender Boolean. It's a it's very interesting workflow and also box cutter. Uh, try that. Have a look at the YouTube video uh, that will really help you in terms of modeling um, with this kind of technique. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.